Uh, yeah, we do. We're matching. We do match. Look at that. Yep. Along it's with nice. like everyone else in the warehouse. Yep. Everybody, we got the new shirts in, so everybody get, gets one we're shirt. Handing them out. Handing them out to all the employees. Yep. Hello. Can you hear us? Please answer if you can hear me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, they can hear you from like 10 miles away. So I know. I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be soft. Trying to See be if soft. they can hear me. Just trying to calm down. Let's do some. Jeff, can they, did anybody say they can hear me yet? Uh, Deep breaths. Huh? Do we have anybody watching today? <laughs> There's no one here. We're here all by ourselves. Wow. Ask, ask Lori. Bye. Lori, can you hear me? Sir. Hello, Lori. Can you hear me? Yes, okay, Lori can hear me. All right. Beautiful. I think that we should start off with like a little funny warranty story while we're waiting for people to get on. Okay, let's start with the warranty story. Well, first of all, hello everybody. Bill Batson here, Blank Talk, episode seven with... Eden Batson, Blank Talk, episode seven, I think. We're pretty sure it's episode seven. <laughs> we kind of lose track of all the things we do around here. Yeah. I've been on uh, some kind of Facebook Live or zoom or something three times this week so he's just too popular guys yeah whatever the people want what they want that's right all right we're gonna talk about a little funny warranty story um people make mistakes sometimes <laughs> they break rods um when they shouldn't this particular guy um took a two-piece rod put it together put the tip down to try to find the, the spline on it said he broke it he told us what happened, no problem. We will said you take care of you. Um, go ahead and send us $30 and the butt section and the tip section of the rod so we can replace it. No problem, he sends it in. He's from Canada. He sends us Canadian money. We're in America. Yeah, we take US dollars, <laughs> not C Canadian dollars. Even though we really appreciate the thought. Well, you know, at least he paid. <laughs> yeah, you know, he so. tried. That, that was kind of nice of them, but we do not take foreign currency <laughs> for a future reference to everybody. We will take it this time because he sent 40 and it was 30. And the exchange rate, I think we make a buck extra on this or something. There you go. And if Canada ever lets us back in, <laughs> we could have 40 Canadian dollars worth of fun. Yes, 40 <laughs> Canadian dollars worth of fun if Canada opens up their borders. Let us in. We want to go fishing. <laughs> there is some awesome fishing in Canada on the yeah. Fraser River. Fishing with Dean for the oversight sturgeon and the rivers. I mean, that's that's a bucket list for sure. If you've never fished sturgeon in the rivers, it'd be awesome. Okay. It'd be awesome. So, anyways, <laughs> um, that's my funny hey, warranty. Says he loves the shirts. Oh, hey, thank you. Hector, thanks. I think they look pretty dang nice. Yeah, we're doing a special today. Oh, we have a lot of special stuff going on today. Should I talk about it? I don't know. Is there enough people to start talking about it? Yeah, we're up to 46. Okay, okay. guys. Well, if you weren't here for our original welcome, welcome. This is Blank Talk. Yes. We do this every Friday at 10 a.m. and yes. we have fun with you guys. Yes. Um, we have a couple fun things going on. As you can all see, right. we have all our new merch out here. Yes. So we're doing a special today called Watch to Win. Watch to Win. So if you're watching right now, you could win one of these amazing shirts. Yep. One of these amazing hats or one of our new hook decals. Yes. Hoo hoo hoo. Nice. We're doing it watch next. to win. So watch you got to be to watching win. to win. Yeah, you got to be watching. Make sure you comment. Make sure you let us know you're there and you could win mm -hmm. one of these. Yep. We're also doing something where I feel like we need more viewers. Oh, I yeah? feel like more people need to watch the show and learn from you. Yeah. Us. <laughs> learn from us. Learn right? from us. Even yeah. though I'm just here to be funny. Yeah. And look good. <laughs> be funny and look good. That's right. Um, so if you share this out to your friends and we double our viewership from last week, we are going to be giving away an extra one of these shirts. Nice. And we also have a special promo code today only oh. for our Blank Talk watchers. Oh, wow. Build to Fish. If you want to buy one of these, one of these, or one of these new decals, you didn't win one today, but you want one, you can go on buildtofish.com, put in discount code Blank Talk, and get free shipping. Yep. Blank Talk, make it all capitals, no space in between. Yep. And you'll get a discount on shirts. Or our new hats. We got these new flex fit hats. Yeah, we got them in the flat bill and then we got the moldable bill. Yep, so we got two styles yeah. in the flex fit. Beautiful hat, nice, well it's done. Really nice quality. Yeah, it's very nice quality. Yeah. And the shirts are comfy. They're so comfy. <laughs> I like them. Soft. They are soft. They are um, snag resistant. Uh huh. And they have a, what is the, what SPF? Is, 
UPF. UPF. Which is ultraviolet protection and... 50. 50 something. Yeah. Factor. Yeah. Factor. Oh. Yeah, Factor. close. That's You're close. Meant. You're close. 50. A 50. 50. A 50. So it's like putting on sunscreen with 50. And he doesn't like putting on sunscreen. No. So it's perfect. Yes. Okay, we're also going to be doing... <laughs> you guys loved it when we broke the RC cable. Oh, no. Loved it. And I love breaking stuff. Yeah, so me too. So today, we have a forklift in the warehouse, and we're going to run a blank over. And if it doesn't break, we're going to give it away. Wow. Because that'll be fun. That would be fun. So we're going to take one of our thick wall, small diameter, yeah. and run it over the forklift and see if we can break it. Yeah. So make sure to share this video yes. to your friends, on your page, to any rod building yes. that you are a part of. So we can give away another shirt and people can have a chance to win. Get that discount code and watch something be run over with a forklift. Woo! That sounds great on a Friday morning. We got a lot going on today. We got a lot going on. Well, shoot. Glad you did all that talking. Yeah. So I get to bend on some blanks and talk about some fishing applications Let's now. Let's go. Woohoo! Okay, so we are doing Northwest Bottom Fish. Yes. Tell me what we're starting out with today. All right. So bottom fishing is all over the world. I mean, people bottom fish all over the world. It's one of my favorite fisheries to, to go for. So, but up here in the great Northwest, we do a lot of halibut. Well, they do it in Alaska. They do it in California. They do it all over the place. A lot of halibut out there. So we're going to go with the deep water halibut jigging rod is what we're going to start with today Ooh. yeah so i prefer a seven footer some people like seven six or eight foot just to get that jigging motion going so we're going to be dropping stuff like this down or norwegian Ooh. jig this is a 26 ounce norwegian jig we're dropping this down 600 feet of water and fishing for halibut and deep water lingcods right Ooh. so this is the kind of stuff we're using yeah We've got pipe jigs that we use up here. These are good Alaska, I'm sure in California. California, not so big of halibuts, but maybe downsizing the jigs would work. And big jig heads with split tails. This is a 24 ounce jig head, so we're dropping this down. So, Beautiful. yeah, so we're gonna show you. The RCKJB 700-325 yes. TC. Yes, so grab that first rod right there. And this is it. I like them spiral wrapped. This is how I build mine. It's a spiral wrap design. It's got a slick butt in the back end. Um, in and out of the rod holders, easy. <laughs> right? We use a lot of electric reels up here, like the Tanicum, Daiwa Tanicum 750 um, for dropping 600 feet down and jigging. We're, so we're jigging those big, those big lures, right? Yeah. And we're catching, you know, 100 pound halibut. We've talked about this blank a lot, the RCKJB. It's, it's a very, um, it can be used for so many things. We're going to talk about it for another variety of applications. It's a knife jigging blank, thick walls, durable. That's probably the one we're going to try to drive over today. <laughs> so. Yeah, this one is amazing. Yes, it is. So let's go Good ahead and pull on it. I want to yeah. show the action of this rod. They Put your glasses on. Your I know. I'll put them down when we get close. Wow, wow. All right. So this is the seven footer, the RCKJB 700-325 rated 30 to 60, yep. 8 to 12 ounce. Like I said, I put 26 ounces on, on this thing and drop it to the bottom, catch halibut all day long. Woohoo! All right, so okay, let's go let's ahead see. and is get some pull. That is ready for you. Okay. Okay, hopefully the camera is positioned correctly so we can, everybody can see. Move all right, we're going to pull. I... Pull with my right arm, which is my strong arm. I reel with my left. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the action. It's more of a moderate action, as you can see. You know, less chance of pulling hooks. And this one's got plenty of power. So if I am going to pull on a big halibut Woo! and I want to turn him or whatever the case might be. Ooh, he's, he's going all right. To so whoo, the rod's got plenty of power. You're not going <laughs> to, you're not going to break this rod. It has more of a moderate flex, thick walls. Small diameters. This is the size of a Sharpie. Yeah. You know, so it's got plenty of power. What did it pull? You pulled 32 pounds? I sold, pulled 32 pounds on that blank. And I'm digging on that blank. I mean, I'm really pulling on it, you know, so. <laughs> oh, it's all that protein. It's all the protein. Yeah. So, um, great blank. Good all-around blank. Bottom fishing groupers. 
uh, redfish, you can put four or five hooks on this thing and drop it down 300 feet in California. All those types of applications, great blank for that. It looks like someone has a question in the comments. Jeff, what are they asking? Lori Heats. Uh, yeah. Can you spiral wrap any blank? Lori Heats wants yes. to know if you can spiral wrap any blank. Yes, you can spiral wrap any blank. It's a casting rod, not a spinning rod. Spinning rod won't do you any good. But yes, any blank for any application, for anything. I know guys that do it on their bass rods, smaller, even, you know, bass rods, yeah. trout, trout rods if they wanted to. They say you get better casting length, um, better accuracy to it. I'm a big proponent. If you look at all of my rods, they are all spiral wrapped. Now tell people why you spiral wrap. Takes the torque out of the rod, right? So the guides, when they're on top and you hook in a big fish and you got a larger reel, that rod wants to roll, Yeah. right? So with the spiral wrap, the guides are already on the bottom. So when you're pulling, the rod's not pulling one way or the other. Yeah. That's why I do it. That makes sense. Yep. And all of my big rods are built that way. Beautiful. So. Gorgeous. So that is our first halibut rod. Okay. Deep let's... water, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, bottom fish rod, good for anything, um, anywhere in the country. I don't care if you're fishing. It doesn't matter where you're fishing. We have a build sheet for that one out right now. Should yeah. Should we take a look at that? Sure. Okay. All right. We, like I said, we have a build sheet for everything. Holly, you want to come in a little close here? This is our build sheet for the RCKJB 700-325. It's a great, uh, easy build. This particular one has a gimbal, right? Has a slick butt. Oh. Very durable. Yeah, it's good for the Obviously, Alps Real Seat, you can get away with a size 20 on that one. This particular one has a flat cut EVA because those rods bend. When those rods bend, um, the rounder EVAs have a tendency to get cut by the line. This one has less chance of getting cut, so you Smart. can see. Yeah, so this one has a flat. Smart engineering. Yeah, this has Alps regular XNs. I might go to the HXNs myself. And also a flange tip top, which is cool. Yeah. Heavy duty ring. Yeah, it doesn't pop out. No easy, can't pop it out. Run a swivel into it. Might crack the ring, but it's not gonna <laughs> pop it out. So, there we so go. that's the... Print. And remember, all of our prints are available. Guidespacing.com. Yeah, it'll kick you to our Facebook group, Guidespacing on Facebook. It's a group of over 3,000 rod yep. builders who talk about how to build rods and yep. all, the, all the cool stuff going on. Yep. So these are pinned to the top of that Facebook page. Right. Perfect. All right. Oh, we got a winner, winner, winner. What's, what's, what is he going to win first? Tell me what he was. Okay. What do you want to give away first? The new flat bill hat goes to George Thomas. George Thomas, you are a winner of the new Batson. You, if you can specify if you want the flat bill or the round bill, these are the snapback yeah. brand new Batson hats. Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Discount code build the fish just for, not build the fish. No. Nope. Discount code on build the fish is blank talk for free shipping if you like this hat and you didn't win it. Yep. But he doesn't have to worry about free shipping because he no, won he it for free. Yeah, so you send us a message on Facebook yep. and we'll send it to you. Yep, perfect. Good job, George. Thanks for watching. Thank you we for appreciate watching. it. Okay, so Jeff, question. Yeah, on the halibut, uh, yes. uh, Steve Nyes wants to know um, if power is more important or a specific action more important for halibut. Power or action more important for halibut, They're Steve both. Nyes. They're both very important because you, you want to be able to pull on a halibut, but... Personally, I don't like the faster actions for halibuts. I like more of a slower action because those fish come straight up, right? And then the moving of the boat and things like that. And if that fish turns its head and starts to pull, he could pull hooks. With the more moderate actions, it's more forgiving for those fish. So I prefer action, moderate action with lots of power. Lots so, of power. Lots of power. I like power. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody likes power, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be able to pull on them. Yeah. You don't want to be o under guns. two pounds on that. Golvin's tuned in today from France. Hey, Golvin, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you very much. Big supporter, France, our French distributor. Yeah. Yep, the Rod House. The Rod House. Yep, Wonderful. thanks. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. So, yes, so that is the halibut rod. That is, we have another halibut rod. Yes, I have another halibut rod that I, that I enjoy. Go ahead and grab that second one. This okay. Big too. Yeah. This is a big boy. Yeah, this is the one I fish with. This rod right here is probably caught in literally a thousand fish. It looks like it too. 
Yeah, it's been beat up. This rod has been around for a while. This rod, I built this in 2008. So 13 years ago, I built this rod. Been in and out of rod holders. You can see it's pretty beat up. The old Alps Real Seat. This is probably one of the first Alps Real Seats that came out in 2008. I did the gimbal on it with a, with a nice decorative wrap here. Yeah. It's got the shrink tube. It's got a custom paint. Did oh, Matt Koch. Matt Koch on there. I did a triple wrap on this one, one under, two over, and I used the Carboloy guides. This is a beat up rod. I can do anything with this. I mean, never have to worry about ring failure. Yeah. These are Carboloys. Um, you can see it. And this one is actually another one of my spiral wraps. As you can see, I use a three guide transition. Boom. I got the Carboloy guides with the Carboloy top. No maintenance, no worries. Awesome rod. Literally a thousand fish on this rod. Wow. Yeah. You don't gotta brag. Look at <laughs> look at this. It's even cracked here. Rubbing it on the rail. Getting <laughs> railed by those big fish. All of a sudden it takes a run and just uh, smashes it on the rail. Oh, Cra crack the finish coat. That just adds extra love to the rod. Yeah, it does. All right. Adds definitely character to it. So let's pull that one out. All right, so this one is the RCJB84XH. A lot of people use this rod for a lot of different things. Yeah. So, question. Quick question on the, on the halibuts. Uh, yes. What size reel do you like to use? Um, from, if I'm going deep water, it's a Tanicum Bull 750 by Daiwa. It's an electric reel. We're dropping 600 to 700 feet down with 28 ounces of jig or lead or whatever. I like that size. If I am going to drop with a conventional reel, I'd probably use a 30, size 30 reel from Accurate or Avet or one of those companies that make a quality made in USA product, but size 30 reel. Nice. So, yeah. And two speed is always nice. If you hook those bigger fish, you can put it in the low gear, take your time, have a sip of soda if you want, and, you know, get your fishing on. So. Hey, Dennis hey. from Ripple Lip. I talked to Dennis on the phone the other day. I oh, just yeah? sent him a catalog. Hey, Dennis. Nice. I'm glad people are watching. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just talking to myself like I usually do. Yeah. I can hear him from his <laughs> office just grumbling at it. All right. Let's get to the second one. RCJB84XH. This is rated 40 to 80, 4 to 10 ounce, right? Um, great great thicker. rod. This is a little quicker rod. I mean, it's a little quicker, yeah. but not too quick. Um, it's got lots of power. This is what that prototype from 2008 was that I showed you. The spiral wrapped yep. one from 2008. That was the prototype to this whole series oh, wow. that I built to fish to make sure it would be right. And this has been a very popular blank. A lot of people fish this RCJB 84XH in California, Mexico, um, all over the place. Yeah, Oregon, so all up and down our coast. What is this made out of? This is RX6 with the glass in the tip. tip yep so you can see that where the transitions come in right here's our glass and that's where our power shuts off yeah and that's where our action goes and it's a bigger diameter at the bottom there too compared yes to the RCKJB. yeah so you get you get power two ways you get it via wall thickness and diameter of blank so this mm -hmm. one has thinner walls a little larger diameter but still you can fit a number 22 seat on this rod and be fine nice so let's go ahead and pull on yeah. this one so people can see you gotta beat that one. No, it's not gonna be 32. <laughs> no. Not I can pull 32 on that because of the, the more moderate actions, right? Okay. So, so because this is quicker. Yeah, so you can see it's a little quicker, okay. but not real quick. It's a two speed blank. So when you when you want it to be quick, it will, but then you can really dig into it. Right? Ooh, oh, it's going under the boat. Right? So that one's got plenty of power. It actually has more power than the other RCKJB, and I bottomed it out at 37. You yeah. said not 32 even. Well, it wasn't 32, was it? It was 37. <laughs> so that's a lot of power to pull on. And most yeah. people, you, you couldn't hold 30 pounds of drag. No. It'd be dragging you over the side of the boat <laughs> is what it'd do. You know, that's how much drag. But great blank. Yeah. RCJB84XH. I know a lot of people fish these. Yeah. A lot of different applications. We are, I use it as one of my bottom fish rods also. Nice. Howdy, bud. Tell us something, Eden. What do you got? I think we have 
another winner. We got another winner. We're giving away more stuff. Boy, we're going quick. I guess it's been 22 minutes. John Nude. Hood? Oh. <laughs> Holly's H looks like an N, but it's John Hood. Sorry, John Hood. John Hood. Yeah, well, you're a winner. What does so. he win? What does he win? Oh. Oh. It looks like we're ready to give away the shirt. Wow, nice. So make sure you message us, John Hood. <laughs> <laughs> and we will send this to you. And make sure to send me your size, your address, all that fun stuff. Um, at Bats and Enterprises, just message our Facebook page, and we'll get you one of these shirts so you can match with Bill and I. Nice. <laughs> And they're selling online for what, forty nine ninety nine? Yeah, they're nice shirts. Yep. And don't forget the blank talk. We have a promo code yep. on our website, buildthenumber2fish.com. Yep. Yep. Today only, if you buy one of our new merch products, you can get free shipping by putting in that promo code, blank talk, all caps, no space. Don't forget about it. We did it just for you guys. Nice. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been buying. They're going quick. So yeah. I think we only bought like two hundred and fifty of them, yeah. and. They're going quick, so get on there and buy your shirt. Not that I'm here to sell anything, but, but the like more them. people that let wear them, the more happy I am. <laughs> Look how beautiful they are, and they're, <laughs> they're comfy. Just yourself. <laughs> we got a question for yeah, Jeff. Jeff. Not really more of a suggestion. They want Link Todd Ross. All right, okay, we'll sorry. Do we'll do it side Sorry. You can get distracted really easily. I get it from him. You can blame him. All right, we're going to start talking about some Link Cod Rods. So I picked a couple of Link Cod Rods today. I like the... Um, the REV SB710 medium heavy. Swim bait. It's yeah. a swim bait rod. A lot of people use it in California for um, calicos, you know, throwing bigger baits. Mm -hmm. um, it can be used for anything. I've, I've known Nicky Vu, catch, I've seen, he told me he's catching schoolie tuna on them, you yeah, know. Yeah, I just up talked to, to Nicky Vu yesterday. Did you? Yeah, nice. I sent him one of these shirts. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> so I like it. So I'll go ahead and pull it off the rack there. It's the blue one. Yep. So this is another one of my personals that I've. That I fish with, right? I like these revelations. Yeah, and this is the Revelation SB swim bait, REV SB 710, yeah. medium heavy, right? And I like it a little bit longer grip in the back because I'm casting sometimes. Um, I've got the Alps aluminum reel seat, little split grip. This is uh, the Batson battle on with an X flock over the top battle and on. battle on, Batson hypalon, battle on, right? And I've got this one. It's a double wrap, one under, one over. It's got the Alps XN guides on it, yeah. and it's also spiral wrapped. And this is a rod that I built. So this is one of my builds, and I use it a lot. So yeah. great for throwing, dropping diamond jigs down this size, you know, three, four ounce. Every, everything eats that. Yeah. You drop that down, everything eats that, right? So this is straight vertical, or you can cast it and reel it back to you, kind of on the bottom. I also use some of the smaller, this style with this squiggly tail on it, cast it out, bounce it back to the boat, usually on a drift. Yes. So, Since we have the spiral wrap out, I had some people asking questions about how you find your spiral. How you find your spiral? Yeah. All right. Well, there are two different ways, or different ways to do it. I know this is my way. Don't, this is not gospel. This is not, nothing. What I'll do is I'll find my spine, all right? Right, and yep. then I will set my reel seat to my spline. I'll put my guide directly oh, don't hit me in, the in line. Some people start it off to the right or to the left. I personally just like it on top because of the cosmetics. Some people go to the right, some people to the left, depends if you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm left-handed, so my, my, my spiral to the right. Um, I do a three guide transition, so one straight up, and then three. So when I look down my rod and I turn it, I can see the line go from one ring to the next ring to the next ring to where it needs to be so i am just looking by eye going down making sure the line is following staying within the middle of the ring of each guide all the way down until i hit the bottom yeah that's how i do it folks there's no it's my science <laughs> <laughs> it might not be the right science but it's my science yeah and that's what i do okay so. beautiful and that's an all graphite rod. So it's pretty light then, yeah? Yes. Let's see if I have it over here. You should. I'm sure I do. Yeah, and this is light in the hand. Feel how light this is. Let's see. Let's see. I want to oh, see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
I want to see what the weight, the actual weight of that blank is. It's just probably something crazy. Sorry, folks, I don't have it marked. So give me, give me a second, right? This is crazy light. Yes, it is. So the blank weight on that, four ounce. Four ounces. Yeah, four ounces. For this whole thing. Yeah, four ounce. Unbuilt, obviously. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and pull on this. This is my Lingcod. One of my Lingcod rods. Why do you like this for Lingcod? It oh. sensitive. I can feel it. Goggles? It's got plenty of power. I can cross reference to a lot of different other applications with it. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's kind of quick. I'm throwing throwing uh, split tails a lot too. Yeah. So you can see it's pretty quick and light in the hand. It's got plenty of power. We're gonna pull on this. We're gonna do a one arm on this. <laughs> Link cut don't get real big. Yeah. You know. So we're pulling on it. You can see, bottomed out. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. So eight pounds of pressure. Great blank. Revelation swim bait. Beautiful. Good for a lot of different things. Gorgeous. Yep. Do we have? That's one link cod. All right. All right. What up. Do we, have? No, we don't have that one built. Nope, we don't got that one built. All right. Uh oh. We're not sure, but we have technical difficulties. And people just said, Bill, I'm tired of listening to you. That could be it too. Wow. Some people could be tired of listening to you. We might have some slow internet problems. Huh. Let us know down below what's going on with the internet over there, guys. We got our people on the other side telling right. us there's something going on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to our next blank though. I think. Okay. You wanna go to the next blank? Yeah. So, um, up here, we're allowed to use um, bait for our bigger link cods, and a lot of times, as you well know, if you fish in California or in Mexico, or you know, Oregon. You'll catch a rockfish, and those big link cods will come up, and they'll attach themselves to the um, to whatever fish you just caught. So you yeah. might be catching greenling, you might be catching um, small bass, you might be catching you know some kind of small rockfish. And those big link cod, they come up and they attach themselves. So what we do is we'll go out and we'll catch a couple of those smaller fish. Show me. Three. Yeah. And what we do is we'll drop them down with a lead. We'll bounce them on the bottom. And I like this one. Yeah. For that, go ahead this and. Is the RCLB 79 medium heavy. Yeah, go ahead and grab that tip. I want to show. Yeah. This one has a little more. Oh, more. Wait, I didn't. I didn't say my oh. safe word. What's oh, my safe word? What's your safe word? Lingcod. 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 Okay, right, so let's go. We're gonna pull on this. And you're gonna see. It's more a little more moderate actions because a lot of time those fish are not actually on the hook. All they're doing is biting the bait and they're holding on. Oh. So you have to reel them up real slow and these little softer actions help that. Yeah. So they don't let go of it. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hook them and keep them. Hook them and keep them and then net them. You're good. All right, we're going to move on to the next plank. Yeah. Or should we give something away? I feel like we should, you know, just because. We should give away that extra shirt just because we lost everybody. Yeah, we lost Whoever's everybody. back on is going to win this shirt. One of the, somebody's going to win this shirt. Holly, would you give us a random generated name? Put it on the chalkboard. Yeah. So because we went out. Oh, I'm getting pitched in. Come on. Do it high. Do it high. Do it low. I'm here. I got it. I got it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> nice catch. Huh? Adam Laird. Adam Laird. Hey, I know Adam Laird. We know Adam Laird. Yeah. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. Yeah. We're glad that you didn't leave us. Got a new shirt out of it, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Make sure you um, message us. Tell them how to do it, Eden. Uh, <laughs> Tell them how to do it, Eden. Me. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Message us on Bass and Enterprises. I'll get your address, your size, and then you get to match with us. Look at us. Look at Show the bass. They're pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And they're comfy. Yeah. Um, we have that build the fish code. I mean, for everyone who is watching and who was watching, we have right. our website build to fish.com. We have a discount code for free shipping, which is blank talk, all caps, no spaces. So there you go. If you want a shirt. We already gave two of them away. Yep. So if you want one, you can go on there. We'll give you free shipping because you're watching and we like you. Oh yeah. Free shipping. Yeah. I'm blank talk. Blank talk. All in capitals. Promo code blank talk. No all in capitals. Space. No space. All right, let's let's move on. Okay. All right, this is another one of my favorite blanks. We're gonna do some rockfish. We've got you know the black rockfish. We've got you know we got calicos in California. You've got a lot of different things. We're gonna do some rockfish, right? Some rockfish. Which one are we doing first? Are we doing the bottom bouncer? 
Uh, yes, the XBB. Yeah, the XBB, this is a great blank. It's a back bouncing rod from way back. I'm going to say LCI days, probably Gary Loomis back with Dick Posey back in the day. This blank's been around a long time. Yeah. So go ahead and pull it off the rack for me. Of course. I'm going in the opposite direction. Which one am I grabbing? Um, that one. Second one in. Yes. Oh, All right. the top. That's okay. So this is an XBB 964. Um, great rockfish. We're throwing two to three ounce lead heads with this into the, into the kelp, catching black rockfish up to anywhere three to eight pounds yeah beautiful that's it's it's our version of the california calico right california black rock fish calico. right nice. um this one longer rear grip mm -hmm. aluminum reel seat i put carbon on this one this one is let's see when i built this one i built this one back in 2011 yeah um it has a carbon rear i put shrink tube on both ends of this right here and trimmed it out and with the bedazzled butt cap bedazzled it's back. Yep. I love the bedazzled um, cap. Number 16 reel seat. And this one's also spiral wrapped. Um, it's in titanium chrome. This one is rated 12 to 25. I fish 50 pound braid on it. One to six ounce back bouncing. So. Oh, it looks like we got a question from Jeff over there. Yes, the Jeff. Um, the lean cock stuff is, and, and that one there, are they suitable for salmon as well? Oh, yes. This one has a perfect salmon steel head cross application. Yes, the most yeah. definitely. Yeah. The XBB 964 is... I know Carrie uses for for jigging darts um, for salmon. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Speaking of Carrie Basson, we were going over the Lingcod stuff when we got disconnected, and I think that they missed. We have two new spiral wrap guide sheets for those Lingcod rods. We have two new sheets that Carrie just made that are going to be up on our Guide Spacing Facebook page. We're going to make an oh, nice. entire separate post for them, show you how to do the spiral wrap. Uh, for those Lincoln rods. Perfect. Yeah, so those are going to be up on our Guide Spacing Facebook group. If you just look it in there, uh -huh. uh, type it in your little search box, and you can join. And then those will be on there. Carrie right. just made them for you guys. Nice. Carrie is the master at yeah. making prints, and he's an awesome rod builder. Also, yeah. everybody, anybody who knows the Batsons, you know Carrie Batson. Um, we would not be the company without him. He's yep. been with us from the beginning, obviously. So, Beautiful. Jeff, you got a question? Uh, yeah, a slow pitch question. Okay. Uh, think would be a good slow pitch model for California rockfish. Slow pitch model. I just sent Eric Noguchi the 70H and the 70MH and he caught a bunch of reds on it. Said okay. it was it was awesome. It was awesome to fish with. Um, I asked him if he actually caught more fish than he normally would. He said it was kind of tough to tell just because he goes to an area where there's a lot of rockfish. Yeah. You know, but he said it was it was fun. It was productive. Got a lot of fish. So the 70MH or the 70H. Yeah. You know, built as a jigging stick. Beautiful. You know, for the California rockfish. Okay. So let's see this one. Set. Yes. I fish that a lot. Yeah. I love that rod. Another spiral wrap. All, All right. spiral wraps. All right. So this this particular blank, this is an RX-8 graphite. So um, like I said, it's rated 12 to 25. I'll fish 50-pound braid on it. Um, <laughs> you just went up by like 30 there. Yeah, I know. I'll fish 50-pound braid on this thing. Um, it's one to six ounces this is not casting weight though this is a back bouncing rod so you can't power cast six ounces with this rod you can power cast three ounces <laughs> two and a half to three ounces but for back bouncing back bouncing is a technique we do here in the rivers where you drop the lead back and you just kind of bounce it back into the fish so but this is a back bouncing blank sneak up on them. gotta sneak up on them <laughs> all right back that thing up a little bit hey i can't help it that the fish keeps going under the boat i know all right reset all right. Oh, I my oh yeah, mine Where too. Hand me my. I know. Got me all turned around with that glitch we had. Facebook. Facebook. Okay. You can see this is a medium fast action rod. You can see where the power is. Small diameters. I like the small diameters. A lot of people like the small diameters. Yeah. You know, so you can see I'm gonna pull on this thing. It's got good and it's got like a two speed, so it pulls back farther. More of a moderate action. I'll one arm this thing and I'm turning bass. Out of the kelp, you can see where I'm maxing out there, yeah. and that's it. And this is another all graphite one, isn't it? RX-8 graphite, so the sensitivity, that's what I like about this. We're throwing these little, you know, ounce and a half ounce squiggly tails into the kelp, yeah. and you're just kind of popping them out. You can, those fish swim by them, you can feel it. Yeah. You know, it's got that good... Here, let me get my mic over there. 
Yeah. That so crisp, light. that crisp, you know, yeah. graphite. Beautiful. So, yeah. So I that's, think we have a build sheet for this one over here. Do we? Yeah. Oh, cool. Bouncer. Yeah. Let's so, see that one. I sure. love that. Yeah, that grip. That grip is beautiful. Yeah, so that's one of the old school grips that we have. Let me move these jigs out of the way. Holly, you want to slide over here and look at this build sheet? All right, so this is the build sheet for the XBB964TC. Like I said, we have build sheets for all 500 models that we carry. Just go to guyspacing.com and figure it out. And here you go. You can see all the parts and pieces. They're numbered, nice and easy. This particular one, I have the carbon. I like it. Might as well have that sensitivity run through there. We have arbors that go into the carbon. This has an EVA butt cap that matches. It has the Alps TX real seat. I know that's a beautiful seat. People knock it off left and right. And then we have the, the EVA foregrip with the blue winding check. And then we have this one is built as a casting rod. So it goes from a 12, 10, 8, 7s, and then 6s all the way out, double footers, and the Alps top to match. Like I said, these are just suggestions. You can mix and match any of these parts with other things that we carry. Yeah. You know, we carry, what, what do we have, 6,000 different parts to choose from? Yeah. Different sizes, different colors, depending on whatever you want. So, the XBB 964. Woohoo! Rockfish. 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 Carrie loves it. Carrie uses it for his lingcod rod and everything. I mean, salmon rod. I've caught a lot of different things on it. But the XBB 964 is a classic. If you're going to have one good inshore medium heavy inshore rod xbb 964 i would suggest that one beautiful i have three of them built in my office three of everything <laughs> no only two daughters oh, that's and true. one son two but i guess i do have three kids oh there you go there you go all right um i want to pull out the immortal the immortal the immortal that was the immortal that was the immortal yeah Popping. Oh, the immortal popping. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, I know what I'm talking about. Right. So grab it for me. So, um, a lot of times I'll use a spinning rod for that light inshore stuff. Anytime you're sm throwing smaller leads, it's easier to throw it with a spinning rod, right? That's pretty. This is pretty. So this is a minimalist design. This is an IMMP 76M. This is great for small um, rockfish and things like that. And this is in uh, Immortal series. It's a RX-8 graphite built as a spinning rod. Yeah. This one is, like I said, the minimalist design. I'll put a nice little spinning reel on here. I have an accurate number six spinning reel that I put on here, and I'll fish this inshore for reds, um, you know, any kind of rockfish, any, any, any of those smaller game up to a 10-pound fish. But if you did hook a 20-pounder, you could, you could land a 20-pound fish with a rod like this, yeah. you know, with the drag set. So... Pretty. This is pretty. I like the triangle seat. It fit yeah. really nice in a spinning reel design, you know, and then you've got the triangle butt to match. It looks so good on this blank. Yeah, and this one is beat up, you know, because I fish it. Yeah. And it's got some dings and dangs and it's all kinds of stuff. Character. It definitely has got some character on it, and this is a fun rod at 7.6. Yeah. Okay, and I just wanted to remind everyone, I'm going to point this at you. <laughs> um, we are doing the forklift test here after this. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very fun. We're going to run something over, so make sure to share this with your friends. Get some more people back on here because we lost a lot of people, and we want more people to get the opportunity to win that blank, and we also have one more giveaway. One more giveaway, Eden says. Or two giveaways, including that blank, if it doesn't break. We're going to run something over with a forklift. Yes, we are. So share it So out. this is basically when, you drop, when you're fishing in your boat and you drop it down and your buddy stands on it, this is probably what basically it's going to be like. If Except he's, with a fork like, <laughs> A big buddy. <laughs> One of those big guys. You know, the, my, my buddies that weigh, you know, the 300 pound guys. You know? One of those guys. 400 pounders. <laughs> there we go. We're done with that. Go I know. We're... <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Are we going to pull on this one too? Yeah, let's go. All right. We'll pull. All right. And if anyone says anything about my snort. Uh-oh. That was a snort. I snort, do. snort. I got all right, so we're going to pull on this one. All right, small diameter. You know, this is the IMMP 76M. Say hey to Darren Doe. What? Say hey to Darren Hey, Darren Doe. How's it going? Hey, Darren. <laughs> so this is the smaller diameters. This is the titanium chrome. It's a really beautiful color. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, like this color. And it looks so good with those silver yes. grips and everything. I know it does. All right. Okay. All right, go ahead and uh, reset. Reset. With glasses. All right, so this is the spinning rod for the light inshore stuff. Here we go. 
All right. Wait, I don't got it on. There we go. All right, so this is the popping action. It is more of a moderate action. You can see when I bend into it, it bends out of one third. And as I pull back, you can see the power is pulling back a little bit farther. This is a small diameter light inshore blank. And I'm going to pull one arm on it. And we're going to just shake it one time and get six and a half pounds of pressure off of that. Small diameter blank. Uh, rated 10 to 17. Small diameter inshore spinning rod. We call this our good time rod. This is when you just want to have yep. fun and go fishing for some rockfish. You yep. don't have to worry too much about it. Yep. It's good for like medium sized rockfish. Yep. We like it. I know a lot of guys use this for the bays in, in California and San Diego Bay um, for catching, you know, little, little rockfish and things like that because of the sensitivity on it and everything. So it's a beautiful blank. Good time rod. Good time. Eden calls it the good time rod. You call it the good time rod. All right. Where are we, Eden? Um, uh, we're going to answer a couple of questions while we get ready for our forklift test. Share this out. We got two more giveaways and a question from Jeff. Yes, Jeff. Jeff. Your question. We did have a special request from Christian. Oh, yes. That's right. Christian um, from Get Bent Custom Rods in Florida. He actually helped us design a new blank a couple years back, the SW968. We, get, we have the 967 forever. I know we've talked about this before. It's an eight foot um, all graphite saltwater rod. Yeah. And we had, then we decided a 966. We saw him at an event. He's on our pro staff. He said, Bill, we need the 968. We got the 968. We decided to bring it in. It's been a very popular, larger um, cobia, larger tarpon rod. So we're going to bend that one for Christian. I'm going to give it a good bend. I know he's been building a lot of them. And a shout out to Christian. Here we go. Okay, wait. Do we have that one picked up? Yes. Cool. So I don't have to, I don't have to put my no. life at risk. All right. So. Oh. All right. So this is the SW968. It's an eight foot rod. This is an 80-20 split. Um, it's a little heavier in the hand. This, like I said, for larger tarpon, larger cobia, um, heavy lingcod, uh, yellowtail, um, great all-around stick. So we're going to go ahead and pull on this one and show you the part. Yeah, that's that, that old school matte black. Yeah. Before we did the satin black, this is the old dash M. Dash we still have the dash M in quite a few things. Ooh, that's pretty. Yep. Uh, the tape that we use on the end of our rods to do our test is shipping tape. It's rated for how many pounds? Is 300 it? pounds. 300? 300 pounds, yep. Yeah, we, we oh. got it over here. It's our shipping tape. Oh, I'm sorry. What? We're not sure what kind of question it was. Oh. Some people asked the question about what we're putting on the tips here. It is a shipping, reinforced shipping tape that we put on there to hook up to that. The noise you hear, we're standing in a working warehouse. Yeah. All right. We have a film room that we could do this in, but we like doing it in the warehouse because it feels more real and we got all of our blanks to the side. Yes. So we can pick anything you want to see. Yes. Uh, so there is going to be noise. We apologize about that. We wear microphones to try yep. to lessen it, but they're hard workers, so they keep working. Yep. We still got to turn and burn product out of here every day. So. Every day. Okay. Let's see this. All right. Let's, let's bend this thing. Let's bend it. Let's all get right. bendy. Oh, all I right. like that. Jay, does he really want me to pull on this thing hard? Let me see. I'm not going to break this rod right here. Maybe I should step back. You know why? Because I don't even have any more in inventory right now. I'm out of this particular model, you know? So I'm not going to break my only sample, but I will pull on it and I'll give it a two hand pull. How's that? There we go. There we go. Okay. We're going to pull it up. That's about where my foregrip would be. As you can see, it's a, it's a mod fast action. And we're going to pull on it and this, on. and we're going to pull on this thing and I'm, and I'm giving it to this fish right oh, here. I'm turning it from getting away from the boat, and this is a strong rod. Guys are using this off the piers and everything. Oh, so, whoo! What'd you get? 24 pounds on a graphite rod. That's a nice. You can you saw the action on it. It was forgiving, yet strong. Um, great rod. So, SW968. Look it up in our catalog. But I don't know when I'm gonna have them again. Okay. I think we should do one more giveaway before the forklift. Okay. Give me a name. Give me a name. Come on, people, comment. Let's get your names out there. Give me your names. We're picking something. We got a name. We got a name. Riley Fee. Riley Fee? F-E-E. Yeah. F-E-E. 
Riley Fee. Fee. Look at that. You get a two-part decal. And yes. And it comes with a little instructional video. So, so is that one of those things you click your phone on and it tells you? Yeah, so you put your What's phone it called? camera over. It's called a QR code. QR code. There we go. I'm the techie one. Yes, you are. You scan it with your phone and then there's a video of our amazing marketing director, Jeff, telling you how to put it on. Yeah, so, yeah. It's this one up here, just a little bit smaller, so you get to match us. Nice on the back window of your truck or on the boat somewhere. And once you put it on, do me a favor and take a picture of it, send it to us. I would appreciate it very much. Let us know about your experience putting it together. <laughs> okay. I think we should go run something over. I think we're going to run something over. Are you guys in the mood to run something over? I think over? we should break we should try to run something over I the forklift. Like Come on. All right. Like I remember, everybody, we are in a working warehouse, so you will hear noise, you will see different things. But today we're just going to, I know people liked the last time we blew up that rod and different things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this blank. And, and this is a tubular blank, so this is not like a solid glass blank or anything like that. This is a tubular blank made on a mandrel. I could throw solid glass down there all day and step on it and run it over and not break it. But we're going to put a tubular glass, and this particular model is a 5 foot 3. Three, five foot three, three hundred. Um, Revelation. No, nope. <laughs> RC. Nope. RC KJB. Knife jigging blank. I need my glasses. That one's actually lighter than the halibut. Right? Yeah. So this is lighter than the halibut. This is rated forty to sixty, six to fourteen ounce. And we're gonna go ahead and put this under the tire of our forklift right here in the warehouse. So don't mind. The, don't mind the mess. We're getting ready for a show. Getting a crate ready. So we're going to bring it over here and we're going to put this over here so everybody can see. Can everybody front see tire. this? Front tire. front tire first. Oh, front tire first. Ba back okay, back it up, Sean. Like I said, don't mind the mess, everybody. So what Jeff was telling me before, he said that the front tire has a little bit less weight. So we're going to do the front tire first and if it's provided the front tire, then we're going to do the back tire because that's where it holds all the weight. All right. Everybody likes to see this kind of stuff, so we're going to do it. Are you ready? Run it over. All right, I'm going to stand on it so it doesn't roll out of the way. You got the shot? Ready, Sean? Good. Yep. Yeah. I heard something, but we're not real sure. All right, so I'm going to check it. All right. Yeah, let me like try. It made it. Hold it up to the camera. Yeah. Oh, show the people. Yep, it's fine. So we did not break it on the front tires. Let's try to do it on the back tires. Back tire, let's go. So this is my 400 pound friend as I drop my rod in the boat and he steps on it, right? <laughs> really hard. Except. I'm pull up a little bit. Pull up a little bit. I want to make sure we get the. All right. Let's do it like this. All right, so we're going to put this on the back tire now, folks. And we're going to put it all the way. We're going to put it uh, halfway through. All right, and I'm going to stand on it, and you're going to run it over. This is my big buddy. Oh, I saw it roll a little bit. Wow. It did make it, everybody. Let me. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and prove it to you. I'm going to pull on it, and it's not going to break right there because that's where it was. As you can see, pretty amazing. It survived. <laughs> the RCKJV series, thick Dude. wall, small diameter. Woo! Only way to go for a durable rod. Like I said, we carry it from a five-footer all the way up to an eight-footer. A lot of different applications. You can do a lot of different things with this blank. The RCKJV series, let's very give it popular. Away. Let's give it away. Okay, let's walk over here. Let's get it. And then we'll close out our show with giving away the <laughs> unbreakable rod. Yes, we've got a question. We got a winner. We got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's hear a name. Chase Russell. Chase, Chase Russell. Russell. Chase you Russell. Chase? You're going to win this blank. And hey. thanks for sharing, too. Oh, yeah. thank, thank you for thank sharing. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us and coming back, even through the technical difficulties. Yes. Chase, send me a message on Facebook at Bastion Enterprises. I will send this out to you today. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and 
I'm going to put this on YouTube and make it all one video. So yes. Later. Okay. So it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be all one video. We're going to make sure that's up for you guys. I'm going to go over our special today only on build2fish.com. If you saw any of the new gear on here that you like, you can go on that website. And just for watching this, we're going to give you a special deal. Free well, shipping. Free shipping. So if you put in promo code blank talk, all capitals, one word into the promo code, you get yep. free shipping on any of our new gear. Yep. Super exciting. Probably any gear. If you placed an order on build to fish, we'll send you anything you want. Free shipping today. Just today. blank talk, all capitals, no space. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. We had a lot of fun today. It was, it was fun today. We had a lot of good things. I hope everybody's enjoying this. This is an educational visual video for people. We're here to share our knowledge and our passion. Mm -hmm. Not try to here to sell you anything. I want you to feel comfortable using a Batson product and be, feel comfortable um, with your choice because there's a lot of choices out there, right? Yeah. Feel comfortable. If you ever have any questions, this, this show drives off of questions and people's comments. So please come back, tell a friend. And yeah. I, think, I think that's everything. Everything, Jeff, do we have everything so far? No, it's ask it again. It's well, which question was that? It's a low. I'm sorry. We get a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, sorry if I didn't answer you. It's a low. Oh, by the way, I did a, I did a pro high, a pro builder series, series of you. Uh, it's a low. Yeah. So it'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. It's a low Busi, our Italian distributor. Awesome guy. Awesome rod builder. Next Next week on YouTube, our YouTube channel is Batson Enterprises. We put a bunch of amazing videos on there. It would yes. mean so much to us. If you go on there, give us a subscribe, turn on your notification. We do Pro Builder Series, so we go through his amazing 700 rod collection yes. and talk about the amazing builders that he has in there. Yes. It's worth it. Yeah. We also have... He, he says, is good for trolling the RCJK. Yes. RCKJB, I would use for anything at the low... We use the the 600 or the six foot six series for trolling for tuna. Yes, Beautiful. it is is definitely a, also a trolling rod. Okay. Yep. I feel like we're good. I feel like we're really good. We're so really everybody, good. I just want to thank you again from my family to all of yours. Yep. God bless and aloha and fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Team Rain Shadow on Instagram. We got our Facebook page. You're on it right now. Like it. Turn on our notification bell so you never miss another one of these videos. Go on our YouTube channel, Batson Enterprises, and see us there too. <laughs> All right. Woo!